fixing a square that was once a front line. Aleppo was the battleground for one of the deadliest episodes of the Syrian civil war. Tens of thousands died here. Once Syria's largest city, it's now rebuilding under President Assad's watch and with the support of the regional governor. We renovate social institutes and infrastructure, healthcare, education, but first of all, roads and bridges. And we're doing that not only in Aleppo, but also in the eastern part of Aleppo province. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says thousands have now returned to their homes from refugee camps. Just last week, the governor says electricity was fully restored to the city. This school in a government-held neighbourhood was protected from the worst of the war, and yet this third-floor classroom still has no glass in the windows after a missile strike in 2016. Two children died in this room, four were killed in the playground below. When the war started, shells started to fall on this school. Most of the children were here in the classroom. As you can see, there is only a metal net on the windows. Shells hit here and killed children. Assad wants the world to see Aleppo rebuilding. Reporters were invited to visit by his allies in the Russian Defence Ministry. But in eastern Aleppo, no amount of spin can hide the scars left by their coalition. Oh. Oh. Children here learn the price of war every time they go outside. The east of the city was under siege for three years until government forces regained control in December. This is where Syria's opposition made its last stand. And nine months later, neighbourhoods here are the lowest priority. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.